What's going on, everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. A lot to cover in this video, and I'm going to top it off with AMC ending in the green. What I saw by looking at the charts today, it was a little bit different, as you know, considering the entire market was red. I'm going to go over everything for you. Let's get right into it. First off, second day of selling off. Yesterday was a little bit different. We had the CPI numbers that were released pre-market. They were a little bit higher than in expectations. However, they were still within range, and that's why you saw the dip immediately get bought back up at market open. The big change in the afternoon was Federal Reserve President Bullard said he actually thinks that there is going to be a full 100 basis point hike by June, July. That is not something that investors had priced in, and that's why you saw a little bit of a pullback. I will give you my personal opinion. I do not think we are going to get to that 1% by June, July, based on how the Federal Reserve has acted before. Today was a little bit different. You had a lot of issues going on with Russia and Ukraine, causing some concern. As you know, in the middle of the day, there was just a massive sell-off, and we never really recovered. Okay, the tech sector took the biggest hit, while your small caps act actually held up the best. However, what I do want to point out to everybody is this W that I was talking about. Okay, a few days ago, I had made a video saying that this was a very similar pattern that the SPY had done even most recently as of early uh, 2021. We would sell off to an indicator, kind of pull back up, kind of hang out for a little bit and then come back down again. And it's almost looked like what you're starting to see form now. And how some people did reach out and say, wait a minute, as the market was charging up, I thought we were going to get another pullback. Well, listen, there's a little bit of consolidation happening. If you look at the last couple times that W happened, it's not one day. It's not an immediate spike up and an immediate pullback down. There's a little bit of consolidation. As you can see, it's exactly what we had for about five or six days. Now we finally got the two days pulling back. But... Let's talk about AMC, green today, when the market was absolutely in shambles. And normally we do not see that out of AMC. It's been a long time where you have seen AMC as one of the only green tickers. And if you look here, this 1850 level that was protected, okay, yesterday going into close, and then all day today, 1850 was protected very strong. Every time we got down to that level, all right, there was enough buying pressure to come in and defend that and keep us going even higher. Now, in one of my previous videos, I did mention to everybody that BlackRock had purchased 43 million shares. And I'm sure you know, because it's already been all over the internet because this was released a couple days ago, but Vanguard topped it, 47 million shares. That is 90 million shares or about 18% of the entire float owned just by two institutions. Now, I know a lot of you are still going off the basis that retail owns 80%. And just so you know, that number was from all the way of uh, June of last year, and a lot has changed. There's a lot of individuals that have added to their positions. And unfortunately, there are probably some individuals who have gotten out of their positions. However, just know that 80% might still be within range. But I do know a lot of people, including myself, have added to their positions as well. And that's not including any of any you know, fund that is short. OK, or any other fund that is still long as the 13 F's are still rolling in. As you can see, new positions have been made. All right. And according to Market Beat, we still only have about 14 million shares sold in quarter four of last year. We still do have a little bit of time before that 45 day deadline comes through. But what does this mean at the 1850 level? OK, well, let's talk about this. If you look at the yearly chart, you can see a lot of soaking up and defending right here at the $15 level, which was a serious, serious resistance. All right. If you're new to this, you know, being an AMC stock before the June run up, that was a serious resistance that every time we built up enough buying pressure to get to that $14, $15 level where we were immediately knocked back down. Well, as we know, previous resistance become new support. And because it was such a strong resistance, a very good indicator for a very strong support okay now there's not much going on at that 1850 level until you go back okay three four years all right which the longer the time frame the less strength of those support and resistance is all right so there's not much going on at that 1850 time frame i'll lever when you see it back over here in about mid-january but like i said when you look at this from a shorter time frame 
it was held very, very tight. So what does that mean when you're looking at some of these massive funds, all right, and you're not really under, you know, knowing exactly what their average price is because of the way that it is filed, that might be a good indication that some of these big guys that hold a serious amount of the shares are trying to defend that level in order to be able to one, put pressure on anybody who is short, all right, below that price, okay, and also in order to maintain a, you know, a positive, uh, you know, position that they currently have. But like I said, it'll be very interesting to see the rest of the 13 F filings that do come in for every other fund and where it continues to move because this is not normal to see AMC up 2%. And even if you look, somebody had reached out to me and said, you know, Jeff, IWM is even tanking here. Okay, you know, it pulled massively and AMC still held its ground very well. All right, the Russell, you know, IWM, which is an index that runs off the Russell 2000, was down a full 1% today. Okay, and a lot of times individual stocks, they don't always trend, but when there is a, a you know, a, a downtrend of an ETF, a lot of times the individuals, or at least some individuals, will actually trend much harder, all right? You look at the NASDAQ that was down a couple percent. However, you look at NVIDIA that was down 7%. You look at AMD that was down 10%, okay? Even though the QQQs were only down about, you know, between two and 3%, all right? So guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.